six months into it, six, eight months into it, he told me to go to a different gym. So I started going to a different gym where they did uh, sparring after class. I got a... Uh... gotten asked maybe like a handful of times on why i do the muay thai or the combat sports my reason is the infamous i used to get bullied in school you know but for me it wasn't like i was getting beat up every single day after school it was whenever i would get into confrontation at school um i would lose when it came time to like fight and confrontation i would lose i, I would find myself losing majority of the time i really thought if i picked up the weights and ate more and stuff like that, that all of these uh, bullies would leave me alone. But now looking at it now, it's just like, I'm hoping like, I'm hoping that no one calls my bluff and it's game over for me. You know what I mean? Like most of us like, yeah, they're intimidating from a, from, from far away. Yeah. But if someone calls your bluff, like, you know what I mean? It's just, it's just not going to happen. I noticed also when I was growing up, I was more more like emotional i would say like emotionally driven was uh would be the word to use even after the fact that like six years later i'm like super built and i have like this muscle i have this muscle mass put on me now and like i said i'm just hoping that no one calls my bluff but maybe like around a, a little bit a little bit over a year ago i wanted to get into into kickboxing and one of my really close friends uh, volunteered himself to train me and he introduced me to Muay Thai you know I did, like at the time I was like what the fuck is that you know like I didn't even know what it was I, I just thought you know because the reason why I wanted to do kickboxing was because if we're in the street people are usually going to try and box me so if I have more 
uh, more weapons to say, more weapons to say, you know, like my legs, then I would probably be beating these boxers out in the street. He would do uh, technical sparring with me all the time and stuff like that. And I think six months into it, six, eight months into it, he told me to go to a different gym. So I started going to a different gym where they did uh, sparring after class. Fast forward now, like a little bit over a year now, fast forward, I've I've got to compete in a, in a tournament, which I lost. Um, I also, something that I noticed was I'm a lot more uh, controlled, like mentally, like of my, uh, of like my emotions and stuff like that. I'm a, I'm a lot more like controlled. So I'm not like acting out of, I'm not acting out of emotion or if someone, uh, if someone or something bothers me, I'm not quick to, to just react to it. I'm just more into giving a response now. Like it, instead of reacting into something, you respond to something, you know, you, you intake it, you process it, and then you give the right response, if that makes sense. And yes, of course, one of the main reasons was to, if I'm out with maybe my loved ones, I could be a first line of defense for my loved ones. If it were to ever happen, I mean, God forbid it, it happens though, but if it were to ever happen, I can confidently stand up and put myself as a as a first line of defense for my loved ones. Definitely say that combat sports has taught me a lot about stoicism. You know, that way I'm not throwing fits like how I used to when I was like a teenager, you know, punching holes in walls and stuff like that. It's 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 allowed me to process a lot of the 